Um, for a while, I think I was going on the tube and everyone seemed to have one day as their book to read. So did that kind of give you encouragement, basically, that people were responding so much to it? Yes, uh, it's, it, it's a lot of expectations, but it's also fantastic to work with something that you know that people love and, and uh, connect with in this way. I remember one of our cast members said that she was reading this book on the tube and suddenly yelled, no, when you get to the point where the story suddenly takes a different direction. And, and, um, and of course, the book was all over the bookshops while we were shooting. So mm. it's a lot of people know these characters already and uh, of course want to go and see how it looks on film. Out of sort of De uh, Dexter and Emma, who was like the first thinking for you? Who did you, were you drawn more to out of those pair? I like Dexter. Mm. Um, sometimes I think that maybe it's Emma's book, but Dexter's film. Uh, yeah. I think Dexter, I mean, I, 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 for me, it's very easy to identify with Emma. Uh, I, I like a lot of people. I think I have a lot in common with her. But Dexter is um, uh, undergoes a much bigger dramatic development, and uh, mm -hmm. he, his journey is much more complex. And he, uh, uh, and I think his, it's it's much more moving to see how he changes. But that's be maybe because I. He is the foreign species. Maybe men would think of it the opposite way. Mm. That that oh Dexter we know, but Emma is interesting to watch. Yeah. But of course Anne Heather, I love watching her performance and I love hearing all her jokes. But um, I tend to enjoy uh, working with male characters more. Uh, Dexter, he's kind of he does things that maybe make him seem inconsiderate. So I mean, do you think that you had to get someone like Jim really, who seems to charm people instantly? Well, Dexter is described as someone who is that everyone admires, and he's spoiled and posh and uh, not that sympathetic. And I really like that it, in the first sequences of the film that Jim does not defend him, that you sit there and watch someone who actually does things he should not have done a lot of the time. And you see how, uh, you know, how he undergoes a development and then becomes a better and better person and a, 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 a more and more lovable. And I think that's, uh, it's courageous that, that Jim has done it that way and not trying all the time to prove that, oh, Dexter has a heart of gold. Mm. Were you worried what um, sort of fans of the book would think of Anne Hathaway being that she's American and it's a, an English character, or did that sort of not figure yes, out? Yes, I've been thinking about Renee Zellweger as Bridget D Jones, I don't know how many times. Um, um, there's something about that apparently it's harder or it, it there's less uh, admiration for Americans try to play Brits than the other way around mm. um, it's and I there's something really sympathetic about you being protective about your your uh, characters and your literature but there are also a lot of examples of people where it works and and I think Anne uh, had already played uh, Jane Austen and that um, so she, it was not something she'd never tried the, the things that he, she would contribute to the project with uh, all her qualifications and her warmth and um, that I think makes up for the fact that her nationality is not quite right.